Yo, what's going on YouTube? It's your boy Black Emoji here coming at y'all with another video and I'm gonna do my review and discuss my thoughts on the new Dragon Ball uh, Super episode 87. Now, of course, this episode wasn't nothing major. It wasn't nothing, you know, huge and not like that. It was basically Android 17 and Goku going after the, uh, the, uh, the boss of the poachers and just going after the poachers in general just to try to get the animals, uh, back because a ship came down to Earth. They took all the animals from Android, uh, 17's island that he's supposed to protect and, you know, they got, they were almost got away. But, uh, Goku is, like, telling Seventeen, yo, grab on to me, and, you know, I'll take you there. He uses instant transmission, they want to his ship, uh, they beat all the soldiers, and, um, you know, Andrew Seventeen, of course, he wanted to go after the boss, and, you know, how Goku is, he was stubborn, he was all like, look, Andrew Seventeen, I want to versus the boss, you know how Goku always want to get everything done, so. So then, Goku had to end up fighting the two soldiers on his own, um... Uh, 17 was like, look, take care of them. I'm going, I'm going to go after the boss. So he went after the boss. They had a conversation. And then the boss is like, you know, are you alone? Andrew 17 told him that he had someone with him, but he says he's usually alone. So then the soldier says, that's very careless of you. Pop the two soldiers. Boom. We're going to, and then he tells them, all oh, my soldiers are going to cut you into cold cuts. So all oh, we're going to, you know, make you into dinner and eat you and all this and that. 17 is like, there's a reason why I protect an island by myself. You, you know what I'm saying? Um, so he found out the hard way. You know, he beat the two soldiers up who was supposed to be coming out there at Android 17. He got shook. Uh, you know, the boss got shook. So then after that, Goku came along and was like, hey, you know, um, you know, I'm back. I finally found you, uh, Android 17. So now, the, um, so then after that, you know, uh, some other stuff happened. And uh, come to find out that uh, it, it, all those animals that were supposedly in the ship was from other planets. It wasn't just from Earth. It was from other planets, too. So that was a lot of animals. And now, you know, after that was all said and done, the poacher, the head hotshot boss, had a uh, remote control. Now, after I keep explaining to you guys, this is, this is going to be kind of funny. Uh, the head hotshot boss supposedly had a controller that was supposed to self destruct the ship. And he had, he, he said, he made up a lie saying he had like a self destructive chip inside of him. So then. Uh, you know, Android 17 told Goku, look, man, pay my condolences to Android 18, my wife and kids and all that, toss him to the ship, and, you know, after that, Goku was like, Android 17, no, turn Super Saiyan God, I don't know what Goku did to stop the ship, by the way, that's a whole nother story, um, but, you know, Goku went after 17, and some transmission to King Kai's planet, he told King Kai, look, we need to keep him here because, you know, he has a bomb on him. He's going to self-destruct. And I don't know why Goku would even bring him to King Kai's planet. You know what I'm saying? Uh, it, he, it's like Goku didn't even care. You know, he's like, oh, well, you know, you, you're already dead anyway. So who cares? It's like, really, Goku? Really? But 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 anyway, you know, after that, the, re the only reason why they found out was fake because Dende told Goku it was, it was a fake. I don't know how did they knew that, but somehow he knew it was fake. And yeah, that's how, that's when Android 17 told the head hot boss to, you know, press the button. It, it popped up this like confetti and, and uh, the fireworks pop up and stuff. It, it was, it was kind of, it was funny. But, um, you know, Android 17 was like, this is ridiculous. And Goku and everyone was laughing. So, uh, you know, so after that, they, it was, they showed, they went back to the planet earth it showed all the animals going back to the island safe and sound. Uh, all the animals are like going, get retrieved and all that stuff. And, uh, you know, a as a result of that, you see in the screen here, it ended up to this. So then 17 and Goku had a little chat. So then 17 was like, you know what? I'm going to join your team, Goku. You know, I'm going to join your team. I I I'm going to leave the island and stuff to go to the trunks, like you said. But I'm going to join your team. 
you know, and he also asked if Android uh, 18 was in there and Kerlin was in there, which he pronounced as his brother. So I guess that makes Kerlin a brother-in-law. I mean, it does make sense, right? Since Android 17 and Kerlin have a baby and, you know, yeah, technically they're 17 and Kerlin are technically brothers-in-laws, which kind of makes sense. But anyway, you know, the long story short, uh, I'm going to make this short and sweet. Android 17 basically joined the tournament. After the last episode, uh, episode, he was stubborn as hell. He was like, no, Goku, I'm not joining your team. If we disappear, we disappear. Good luck to you. But now in this episode, he, he, he seemed to cool down. You know, he joined Goku's team. So, you know, that, that's good that Andro 17 now is joining the team. I mean, come on. You had to have seen it coming. The opening says it speaks for itself. So we already knew Andro 17 was going to join. He just needed to crack a bit and, you know, and he did. So, yeah, 17 is joining. And, uh, yeah. But th th this episode, in my opinion, though, like, it, it was kind of chill. It was laid back. It wasn't really not much. It wasn't, you know, as big as we thought it was going to be. It was basically... Goku and 17 protecting animals and whatnot. It, it wasn't really that much big of a deal. I, in my opinion, I thought the boss head, uh, head Hacho wasn't really much of a threat. His soldiers were weak as hell. 17 took him out like it was nothing, you know. But yeah, that. Uh, but yeah, I think I'm gonna wrap it up though, guys. Just wanted to give a little review on uh, Dragon Ball Super episode 87. Y'all let me know what y'all think about this episode down in the comment section below. And the preview of the next episode is nuts. It's crazy. Gohan's going to be versing Piccolo. But I'll talk about that in the next video. But yeah, what, what do you guys thoughts of the episode this week? What was your thoughts on it though? Y'all leave it down in the comment section below. But yeah, I'm going to wrap it up though, guys. Subscribe. Talk my likes and share this video with your friends. Also, if you're new to this channel, subscribe. You will not regret it. But yeah, guys. It's your boy Black Emoji, signing out. Y'all stay awesome, you guys. Peace.